Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Carrie, and I want to do a reading on Carly Gousset. She is the 17 year old, or would she be 17? She's a girl missing from um, Bishop or Chiffon, um, California. She was 17 at the time of her disappearance in 2018, I believe. Um, she's a very sweet, sweet little girl. Little girl. <laughs> sweet, sweet girl. She, well, I mean, I don't know her personally, but from what I've seen. Anyways, um, I just wanted to kind of just see what was going on. It's been a long time since, you know, she's went missing. She never showed back up. Um, I just want to know what happened to the beautiful girl. Okay, so for the first one we have is Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is, you know, like ill-conceived plans, um, a path to failure, a poor attempt. Because, you know, as you can see, they have a frayed, you know, they're trying to swallow a sword with frayed rope, you know. Obviously, that ain't a good idea. Um, the Page of Pentacles. Um, young student, eager to learn, intuitive mind. Interesting. Um, the next one is the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, separation, stormy relationships, longing for an absent love. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to put these together in just a second. Then the moon reverse, which, you know, that tells us there's, there's lies, just lies. Um, the moon reverse is avoiding reality, strange forces, delusional thoughts, lies, and despair. Okay. So, um, it's almost like. Some, because this one and this one, it's almost like, because it's directed at this person. So, this was told, ill-conceived plans by the page, which is the child, the spark, the reason, right? Because she was heartbroken, and, you know, the moon is the lies to this person, the hair font. You know, which is a leader, usually a mentor, a teacher, or lies about this person or lies for this person, right? We don't know which. The hero font could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn male. Um, it could be a preacher, a teacher, anything like that. Um, divine inspiration, mercy, control. <clears throat> Control over spiritual needs and conformity, which, I mean, this could be a priest. It could be the father. This could be the father figure. So, the lies were made for this person. Because then I see the Knight of Cups right here is why I say they're right on top of each other, basically. The Knight of Cups, he's reversed, which is pouring out all the cups. Knights are messengers. They deliver the message um, <clears throat> of the suit, which she would have been drinking. So that would have been the Cubs. They would deliver the message of her being her drinking to this person. But um, the <clears throat> the Knight of Cups reverses deceptive person, falsehoods, and scams. So. And then right beside it, oh my God, oh my God. So I lay these and I haven't even, oh my goodness. So judgment reversed. Fearful of death, guilty feelings, um, worry. <sighs> worry, um. Because of the injustice, you 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 made judgment come upon somebody who didn't deserve the judgment, basically. 
because you did what? You temperance, tempered it. Temperance is all about acclimate, patience, balance, channeling one's energy, mixing in of elements to create something new. Because you created something new, which caused the judgment to be harshly brought down on Carly because of you lying. Oh my God. Okay, so everything that I say is allegedly and for entertainment purposes only technically i am just telling you what i read everybody is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law and that's how it is and that's how it shall be i'm just looking at carly so the next one we have is the page of wands reversed after our temperance the one that tempered with it mixing it to make a different element and dim-witted poor choices indecision Made it seem like she was dim-witted, made poor choices, and was indecisive about if she wanted to stay in the car or not. Because this is what I see. I see a car wreck. I see that she was drinking with someone, like, that, um, Melissa, the stepmother, that's who, because this is all woman, except for this one right here. This is all woman. Um, she portrayed a narrative to this person, the Hierophant, which caused, brought the message about the judgment that was not, you know, unnecessary judgment, because she tempered with the, <clears throat> to make this, the Page of Wands, which is, make it seem that she was dim-witted, made poor choices, right? And then we have the world reversed which is completion but you know in the reverse it's frustration incomplete projects failed endeavors okay that she didn't she okay so this is what she wanted to make it seem this is the temper this is okay so this happened because of the lies right okay so then she tempered with the elements so that she could make it seem to us the public that she was just left out making poor choices and, you know, that, you know, failed endeavors, failed projects. She went out to set for a project, but she didn't succeed in it, is what she wanted to make. Like, she wanted to go to her mom's house, basically. There you go. The Two of Cups reversed. <laughs> this is, you know, wanting to be reconciled. <sighs> Partnerships. It's just a lot of cups emptying. Oh, it makes me sad. False love. Broken relationships. <sighs> conflicting interest. Her interests were conflicting with her husband's. Wow. And she pretended that she loved. And this is what she did to the public, too. Pretended that she wanted to find her, that she loved her, and that she that it went how it went, but there was conflicting interests, so she couldn't say, or her and this person, her and someone else, the one that she picked her up from, had conflicting interests, so they had to, by default, become partners. All right, Nine of Pentacles. Oh, wait. Hang on. I had to write down so that I didn't get it mixed up. Okay. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. This is, um... Nine of Pentacles is an independent woman, a pet lover. Um, you know, strong, independent woman, basically, right? Sorry. I'm a little irritated about how this... Okay, so the Seven of Cups, you know, it's, it's like you have a choice to make, but something dangerous can lurk behind the choice that you make, creating an illusion of choices that she made the choices. And that because she was drunk, as you can see. Okay. Um, and she also, so, oh, okay. So, then we have the Queen of Pentacles. She wanted to make herself seem like the Queen of Pentacles. The one that provided all the money. The one that was, 
um, the nurturer, a wonderful hostess, you know, just a wonderful, wonderful woman. Oh, goodness. This is fun. So, it's not fun, but it's funny, I guess. It's not, okay, so I'm not trying to say that it's funny. It's kind of funny how much, because I didn't, I, you know, always had my suspicions about it, and that's why it's kind of like, wow. Um, but when I wanted to do this, I, I went into this, like, I just want to know what happens to this baby. And I didn't have any, I didn't want to do any preconceived notions, but, like, she's not even one man except for the hair, the hair front. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, which was upright, and it's all about, um, <sighs> fortune, chance, unplanned, um, unplanned events, hope and faith, you know, destiny. So that's how she spun it, possibly. You know, that it was a strange occurrence that, you know, they usually have good fortune, you know, spin the wheel. Um... So she probably paid someone. That probably means that she paid someone the spinning of the wheel. S because they wanted her to, them to make it seem she spun the wheel to see if it landed in her favor. And if it did, it would look like this. Solitude, exile, one who seeks to be alone, an outcast, hidden knowledge, secrecy. And they have, they, ha they know where she is. And it's a secret, you know. Next one is devil. Oppression, material bondage, obsessive desires. This is what she wanted. This is what she was spinning the wheel for the good fortune. These. These two cards. To make it seem like she wanted to be alone. That she felt like an outcast. That, um... She had knowledge of secrets that he was keep her boyfriend was keeping of her, and while she was out, a devil got a hold of her and took her and did did away with her. You know, this is sexual fantasies, obsessive sexual fantasies. You know, everything bad, taboo, evil, right? But no, and you know where they all came from? They came from the Queen of Swords reverse, which is an evil cold, vindictive woman. So, um, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, I would say that just because, um, Carly is a, uh, um, so the Queen of Cups, you know, in in readings, you know, what is been, what is what shows death most of the time isn't necessarily the death card. More so, it's the Queen of Cups reversed, the King of Cups, and it could be the Knight of Cups reversed, which we had. And because Carly was between twenty and thirty, I mean, just between, because she was younger, she would be a knight, you know possibly and that could be vindictive of her death and I think that when her father found out she was possibly already dead and that is not what I thought at first I kind of just thought like maybe he freaked out but I think that Melissa might have been under the influence and Carly had a concussion which caused her to go into seizures even I think she might have not been Conscience, conscious, 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 conscious. Oh my God, awake. <laughs> she might not have been awake once she arrived home or she might have been already dead. This is my opinion. This is what I see. I um, didn't want it to become that, but it was, it was surprising to me. It really is surprising, you know. It wasn't how I expected it to be, to come over and 
to come and do. So I don't think that her father actually knows the full truth. He was spun a different story. And, you know, he was basically tied to her, too. So. Um. I just want all to help in any way that I can provide rest for these poor, poor souls and help these babies be found. These missing people, I don't care if they passed or if they didn't pass. They deserve their soul to rest easy. And I think that that's the best thing that I can do. Everybody have a good day. Thank you. Well, thank you again. Oh my God, stop. Oh, stop.